A second element is understanding the promise of financial security. Simply sobering up will not make all your money worries disappear. You won't automatically have a full bank account and be able to save money for a rainy day easily. There is a lot to learn. Living with control of finances takes time, however, like much in recovery. If you are willing and able to follow some direction, it's possible. Employment opportunities will arise. You might retrain in new skills and volunteering might present new opportunities. You will notice that without drugs and alcohol, you'll have money to enjoy new and healthy pleasures and hobbies. Once you've completed the inner work on yourself, you will notice that you can learn to save and money goes further. Through your recovery journey, you will notice the gratitude and serenity go hand in hand. The more you work on your internal self, the more you will feel calm in the world and be able to sense gratitude for the simple things life has to offer. You'll find a new appreciation for time with recovery peers, family and colleagues. You'll learn that all you need in life is food in your belly, a roof over your head and connection to the sense of something bigger than you in the world. In time, the constant pursuit for lavish material goods will diminish as you heal and find the ability to manage feelings and emotions appropriately. You will realise that finances and savings, although comforting, do not automatically mean happiness. Even in a time of financial crisis like we are facing today as a result of the current pandemic, you will find you can stay calm and remind yourself that as long as you have something to eat, somewhere to sleep and someone to talk to, it will be okay. In recovery and embarking on an inward journey of self-discovery, you will discover that our fears are usually linked to insecurity. You will find that there are three main sources of insecurity. Insecurity based on rejection or failure. Insecurity based on a lack of self-confidence. And insecurity based on a sense of perfectionism. With the help of a 12-step program, sponsor or professional therapist, you have the opportunity to explore your attachment to fears. You will be guided through working on yourself, your beliefs and perception of self. Over time and with support, many insecurities are lifted, including the uncertainty of financial instability. The gifts and promises recovery can facilitate will outstand you. Let's talk about some tips for managing finances. Separate wants from needs. In active addiction, your brain tends to pursue instant gratification. This mindset can persist in early recovery unless you decide to push back. Instead of swiping your card for every minor desire, take a beat to reflect on whether you really need to spend that money. Avoid credit or debit cards. Becoming fully self-supporting might be the end aim, but until then, it might be best to minimise access to credit cards. Withdrawing cash from the bank when you need to helps discourage random, impulsive spending. Create lists for a shopping trip. Planning your trips to the shops can help minimise the chance of impulsive purchases. Knowing what you need and where you're going to get it can help maintain your focus and stop you from picking up items you don't need. 
seek affordable alternatives. Sometimes there are more economical ways to accomplish your goals, such as clip coupons, hunt for bargains or thinking of other options for outings. If you want to have dinner with a friend, cook together instead of going to an expensive restaurant. And finally, set saving goals. If you want to make a larger purchase or go on a vacation, start setting money aside for those particular goals. For example, you might have a holiday fund jar for your loose change. Serenity replaces financial insecurity as you continue on your path of sobriety. Thank you.